This is the backwoods country of Wisconsin, a place where legends grow. Legends like, like Paul Bunyan and his giant ox babe, and also tales of giant unexplained animals such as Bigfoot. Now, I'll tell you this, if there are giant animals roaming around in Wisconsin, we'll find them. But as far as I know, it's purely imagination, just conjecture. I can say that as far as I know, there are no giant animals roaming around in Wisconsin. Right, little fella? We have buffaloes, three different sizes, all the way up to a giant size, which is 21 feet long and about 12 feet high. Strangely smiling, grinning, snarling, and howling animals sprawled out in the grass in front of a simple, small building. Uh, lions, tigers, cougars. They call the business Creative Displays. Actually, it's the place where advertising men send their imaginations for a vacation. And a bit later, out comes... We've got a 25-foot farmer, 25-foot uh, cowboy. We have a 50-foot jolly green giant. The giant displays are first sculpted in styrofoam. A sharp knife and an electric saw take the place of chisels. From four feet to 50, it doesn't really matter. Imagine mentioning to a casual friend that you spent the day standing on the back of a 20-foot Indian fiberglassing his feathers. The company conversation sounds like Mother Goose meets popular mechanics. Talk of 30-foot beaver, huge musky, and 10-foot turkeys. We have giant cowboy boots, we have giant shoes, we have horses, cows, pigs for any farm scenes. Paint a giant pachyderm, spray the nose of a lion. Just part of an ordinary day for these folks. There's art, engineering, and imagination. And the result is, well, quite a bit bigger than big. How big are our, our, our pigs? are, uh, we've got a small one that's only 21 inches high, and we have one like this, which is 5 feet 2 inches high, we have one that's 10 feet high and 21 feet long. I guess they do grow them bigger around Sparta, Wisconsin. They just don't move around too much, not without help. This is Andy Johnston and friends.